When I was in high school, I decided that I wanted to become a sports broadcaster. I wasn't skilled enough to be a professional athlete, and I was told I had a good face for radio, so I thought it would be a fun way to be involved in sports for a living. To practice speaking in front of large crowds, I volunteered to be the PA announcer for my high school's football games. I typically took my announcing seriously, but one Saturday morning when I was announcing a junior high football game, I had to deliver a difficult message message to the fans. For those of you who don't know, a PA announcer has spotters to keep track of which player is involved before making the announcement. That morning I had two spotters, one for each team, simple enough. I went to a small high school so I knew both my spotters pretty well and it seemed like there wouldn't be a problem. At some point during the game, the home team ran a play and the tackle was made by the away team. Like any other play, I announced the ball carrier's name, then I looked over to the visitor's roster to see who made the tackle. My visitor spotter correctly identified the tackler's number and pointed to it on the roster. The name read Nathan Dick. His first name was something else, I just changed it for his privacy. I doubt he cares, but still. So, I'm guessing a majority of you listening to the story understand why this name is funny. What kind of a name is Nathan? <laughs> okay, obviously it's because his last name is Dick. When I had read the name, I didn't really think it was that funny, so I was about to make the announcement. Tackle me. Nathan Dick. However, between me reading the name and making the announcement, my visitor spotter slightly chuckled after reading the name. I guess I had overestimated my maturity level because that slight chuckle, that faint giggle, was enough to break me. So this is what the announcement really was. Tackle made by Nathan. <laughs> Tensions were high, but I wasn't going to let that stop me, so I proceeded to try again. Tackle made by Nathan. <laughs> After botching the call the second time, me, my spotters, and the rest of the press box started laughing so hard we were crying. Fortunately, the crowd didn't hear us all cracking up because I turned off the microphone. I love this story so much because I can only imagine what Nathan Dick and his parents thought during all of this. They were probably just shaking their heads and seriously considering that they changed their last name to avoid more humiliation. Other than this instance, my football announcing was fairly normal. Tackle made by LeCarpetron Duke Marriott. And even though I'm no longer pursuing a career in sports broadcasting, I'm definitely glad I was at the time. Otherwise, this story would have never happened and that would have been a tragedy. I'm sorry, Nathan, but you're the reason why I look back on PA announcing so fondly. If it makes you feel any better, I could start calling you Nathan Richard from now on. I guess I should mention that I never did end up saying his whole name. I was afraid that if I did, the whole crowd would realize why I couldn't finish the announcement, so after composing myself a few plays later, I was able to announce the rest of the game. 